market equilibrium point. Market equilibrium point is the point of intersection of the demand curve Px and the supply curve Sx. The equilibrium condition is expressed by the equation Px equals How to get the market equilibrium point? Use the formula below. Supply function Fx equals to demand function Dx. In demand function, the linear function graph slopes downwards from left to right and the quadratic function graph gives a set graph shape. In supply function, the linear function graph slopes upwards from left to right and the quadratic function graph gives a small graph shape. Consumer Surplus Consumer Surplus is an economic measure of consumer benefit which is calculated by analyzing the difference between what consumers are willing and able to pay for a good or service relative to its market price and what they actually do spend on the good or service. A consumer surplus occurs when the consumer is willing to pay more for a given product than the current market price. Producer surplus Producer surplus is an economic measure of the difference between the amount a producer of a good receives and the minimum amount the producer is willing to accept for the food. The difference or surplus amount is the benefit the producer receives for selling the food in the market. Producer surplus is generated by market prices in excess of the lowest price producers would otherwise be willing to accept for their goods. Let's try this question. The demand function Dx and supply function Fx in Rm of a shirt are given by Dx equals to 16 minus x squared and Fx equals to x plus 4 respectively where x is the number of units of the shirt. A. Find the value of market equilibrium point. B. Sketch the two functions and mark the regions that represent the consumer surplus and the producer surplus. C. When the market is in equilibrium, determine the value of the consumer surplus and producer surplus. Take note the equation which is dx and sx. A. Find the value of market equilibrium point. First, equalize both of the equation x, x and dx where x plus 4 equals to 16 minus x squared. Then, you will get the quadratic equation x squared plus x minus 12 equals to 0. Factorize the equation and you will get x equals to 3 and x equals to negative 4. Ignore the negative 4 because there is no negative value in market equilibrium point. Then, Substitute x equals to 3 in any equation. For example, substitute the value of x equals to 3 in sx equals to x plus 4. Then you will get the y equals to 7. Hence, the market equilibrium point is 3, 7. B. Sketch the two functions and mark the regions that represent the consumer surplus and the producer surplus. For the first equation, dx equals to 16 minus x squared. According to the quadratic function formula, ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, c equals to 16, and 16 equals to the y-intercept. According to quadratic function formula, ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0, a equals to negative, Negative value represents set graph. For the second equation, Fx equals to x plus 4. According to the linear function formula, y equals to Fx plus b, c equals to 4, therefore 4 equals to the y in the step. 
according to linear function formula y equals to mx plus b x is positive then we will get the graph slope upwards from left to right Firstly, draw the x and y axis. The demand function which represents the set graph shape has two values of x is the set when you factorize the equation which is x equals to 4 and x equals to negative 4. 16 is for the y intercept. The linear function have a slope upwards graph which intersect at the value of y equals to 4 and x equals to negative 4. The intersection point between these two functions or the market equilibrium point is at 3, 7. Ignore the negative side of the graph. How to find the consumer surplus and producer surplus? Use this formula to calculate the value of Cf and Cm. For the consumer surplus formula, Cf equals to integrate 0 to x0, demand function dx minus x0, y0, which is the market equilibrium point. For the producer surplus formula, Cs equals to x0, y0 minus integrate 0 to x0, supply function dx. For the consumer surplus value, first, use the equation dx equal to 16 minus x squared. Second, use the CS formula. Substitute the value into the formula where CS equals to integrate 0 to 3, 16 minus x squared, minus with 3 times 7. To integrate For the producer surplus value, first use the equation as x equals to x plus 4. Second, use the PS formula. Substitute the value into the formula where PS equals to 3 times 7 minus we integrate 0 to 3 x plus 4. To integrate the supply function, you have to integrate x plus 4.